So where does one find a billionaire, specifically in Chicago? He can have vacation homes. I'm willing to vacation a lot of the time out the year. But where do we find the billionaires? Anyway, if a billionaire is looking, I'm available. Like, super available. Just DM me, I guess. <laughs> I'm laughing, but these are not jokes. The more I watch these females, as much as I know that they want the lifestyle and the soft princess treatment that they go on about, it's also about raising your value in society that you don't have. I find a lot of these females will go for or want to go for a millionaire, a billionaire or six figure guy because he is going to be the status that she can get for herself. She, he, excuse me, is going to be the value that she lost in her prime years. And that's what we're going to really see. Not only are they chasing a lifestyle, but a certain status to make value of. Girls be like, I want to date a rich guy, I want to date a rich guy, I want to date a rich guy. Can you handle what it takes dating a rich guy? If some of these girls that are dating rich guy tell you guys what they go through, can you handle it? Just small shout and they'll shout at some of you people start crying or shit, they cheat on you. You go and admit yourself into psychiatric hospital. You think it's easy to be a rich man's girlfriend or can you handle what really comes with a rich man? So to be honest, your prayer is not to get a rich man, but to get a giving, caring, intentional man. I really thought she was going somewhere with this and all she really said in the end is don't get a stingy rich guy. Overall that's what she's saying. But one thing I would like to highlight that I did agree with about 5% is a lot of these wealthy men, rich men that these females go for aren't what you think they are. You're not the type that you think you are you're not the wife that they want you to be you know a lot of these females they want to sponge off these men but that is not going to be the reality when you actually become these wealthy rich men's wives which is why you never actually become that because they can see you a mile off they can see what type of female that you are and going to be if you would like to know where to meet high value men, young millionaires and billionaires, keep watching. Let me start by saying, get off the dating apps. The high value men you're looking for are not there. First question you should ask yourself, what is the lifestyle of the rich? What is the lifestyle of a high value man? What are his hobbies? What does their daily lifestyle look like? A high value man has a very full life. To me, this is very dusty behavior. It's dusty behavior because meanwhile, these men have a full life. What do you have other than sniffing him like some predator and trying to literally lurk on his every move, on his every activities? Where's your full life? Where's your full mindset? Where's your full womanhood? Is there no shame that you're willing to literally stalk a rich, wealthy man to splurge off? That is dusty behavior. If he isn't working or traveling, he is doing hobbies and activities with his friends. What is the lifestyle of the rich? They love shopping, fine dining, unique experiences, clubbing, Sports and physical activities, high-end hobbies, traveling. The practicals of all of this is you need to put yourself in those locations where the rich live their lifestyle. If they are traveling, you find them in the VIP lounges in different airports. Even if it's locally, you would always find them in the VIP lounge. So whenever you're traveling, make sure to always be in the VIP lounge while you're waiting for your flight. Second thing. They are always shopping. So you're going to find them in the high-end luxury stores in your area. 
If there's a Rolex store around you, you would find them there. If there's a high-end perfume store, you would always find them there shopping for new perfumes. If there's a Cartier store, you know, high-end stores where they like to spend their money, you would definitely find them there. Even if you're not going into these stores to buy anything, you can go window shopping, but always make sure you look the part. You look sophisticated and feminine while you go into those places to window shop. And you never know, you could meet your man there. What also gets me is you have these females. This is why I call them dusties, because you're literally trying to force your way in to a bracket that you don't belong to. You was never born into. You don't know anyone that is actually in your family or your parents like this whole lifestyle that you're literally just trying to get yourself in you know nothing of it just shows how average these females are that they actually know nothing of this lifestyle they only just know what they see go to a rolex store go to a lobby hotel go to these places just because men are there don't mean they're millionaires or rich or billionaires you actually don't even know what that man looks like. You never grew up with those type of men. You don't even know what they think, what they're like. You're just going for what looks rich to you, what looks wealthy to you. You actually have no knowledge whatsoever because you're average and it just shows how average you are. And not only that, but this is dusty behavior. And another thing to note is that we need to be confident enough to be able to start small talk. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video, how you can be confident enough to drop hints and start small talk whenever you meet someone that prospects for what you're looking for. You will find them easily in restaurants, especially just general restaurants open to all. If you must go to a restaurant, go to a five star or above restaurant and it has to be in a hotel, like the words in a hotel, because if they're traveling or maybe they're in transit and they're staying at a hotel, they would definitely maybe pop into the restaurants for a meeting or they would be around the hotel. So the five-star hotel lobbies are a very good place to meet them as well, because travelers and people coming into your area make it a habit to go to only the nice five-star hotels to chill. Just buy a coffee, buy a cup of tea or buy a cocktail or something and just sit for an hour or two and who knows? So in summary, you cannot sit at home or go to the same places you've been going before and expect to meet a high value billionaire or millionaire. You need to change your locations and put in that conscious effort to be in the locations of the rich. Profile. <laughs> Y'all, Heather met a nine-figure man on Hinge because she wasn't cheap. So, you trying to up your game a little bit, expand your horizons, spend some money. Spend some money to make some money, to get some money. I don't know. But That's I cannot believe. Point. Uh huh. That's a great point to invest in invest in it it's an investment in what you want right like yeah. i make investments we make investments all the time right we get our hair done we get our nails done get mm-hmm. lashes done buy makeup go pay for a gym membership you know pay mm-hmm. for you know you you invest a lot right but you just gotta yeah. kind of be strategic with it great example to show why i call females females the first thing you should do as a woman is invest in yourself and when I say invest in yourself, it don't mean go find a rich man. It don't mean go find a six-figure man. Invest in how you take care of yourself. Invest in the type of wife you want to be, the type of mother you want to be. How resourceful you're going to be. What can, what can you do for yourself that you, your family can also be able to use? Your husband, your children, you know? Invest in yourself. But these females, they're so fixed on a lifestyle that a man can bring that they invest in the man and his money, not themselves. 
So I've been dating wealthy men as of late, as you guys know, and the number one asked question I get is, girl, how are you meeting these men? <laughs> so get your pen and pencils ready because I'm gonna tell you how to spot a wealthy man in the wild. Let me preface this by saying wealthy does not have a uniform, okay? We know what one wealthy person wears is not what the next is gonna wear. So just getting that disclaimer out of the way right now. The first thing that you wanna look out for if you are walking down the street, you're walking in a park, you're in a coffee shop in an affluent neighborhood, and you see a guy and you're like, hmm, maybe, maybe him? Look at the man's feet, okay? We wanna inspect the shoes. What kind of shoes is he wearing out in public even when going to coffee, even when just in the park? He can be having a casual day, but if his shoes are nice and like not dirty and like they look like they are a presentable sneaker or a presentable dress shoe or whatever, this is a good sign that perhaps he takes some pride in his appearance and spends some money on himself because his shoes are looking very nice even if he's just going to get like a coffee. So that's number one, check out his shoes, see what they're doing. The next thing, number two, look at the man's wrist. Does he have a watch on? If he has a watch on, is it like an Omega watch, is it Rolex? Wealthy men typically like to wear like a very beautiful, well-crafted, iconic timepiece. And you can do this just by like quickly glancing at the wrist, you know, is it a nice watch that he's got on? Cause then you know, okay, well he's again, investing in himself and his appearance and can front, you know, the money for like a Rolex or like a beautiful um, Omega. So yeah, check out the wrist. I personally don't know how these females are not actually embarrassed. I actually don't know how you can actually be this comfortable to come online and advise other women, females, to pocket watch a man. To calculate through what he's wearing and where he goes to see how much he makes. That, that is your criteria when it comes to finding a husband, a man, is how much is he making, what is he wearing, so I can have a summary of what's in his bank. Don't you ever think maybe these men actually dress to avoid you? Because I believe so. I don't think they're out there looking like that. Honestly, these men will purposely wear what won't attract you females to them. Unless they just want the coochie. Number two. Okay, the last couple of things. You need to look at how this man is pulled together as a whole and what is his overall demeanor like? The overall. So how does this man present himself to the world even if he's just running a simple Sunday errand, grabbing a coffee, strolling in the park? How does he look overall? Are his clothes well fitting? Does he have a, a confident presence? That's also what I mean by demeanor. Demeanor is huge because Wealthy men tend to exude kind of like an inner confidence. It's not loud, it's not messy, it's very uh, comfortable within themselves. If you're walking down the street and you see a guy coming at you in a suit, he has a watch on, he has like nice shoes on, a briefcase. Yes, he might be a wealthy man, but sometimes it's more subtle than that. Sometimes it's just like a clean t-shirt and some nice slacks, nice shoe and a watch. You gotta look out for that, okay? Open your eyes to it, get off your phone. Make sure when you're doing this and you're looking at this guy, don't be creepy, you know, be stealth with it. You know, it's a quick glance, a quick glance at the shoe, quick glance at the watch, quick glance at like how his overall vibe is, okay? Don't be weird with it, you got it? This is already creepy, this is already weird. I don't know how you're saying don't be this, it is. If Imagine if we flipped it the other way around, that a man is just preying your every move. See how pure, innocent, how much of a virgin you are, how young and subtle and seeing how you dress like, like, but he's not making it obvious. Don't you think you will feel that? Don't you think these men feel that too? Do you just think your every action is oblivious? It's weird. It's creepy. That's just what it is. Also, this is obvious, but make sure you're in the right kind of places to meet the individual who you wish to date. Mm -hmm. Keep your eye out for these subtle things, the shoes, the watch, the demeanor, the overall presence, how this man presents himself to the world, and take a good look, you know? You might be overlooking some wealthy men and you don't even know it. So there you have it, a couple of tips how to spot a wealthy man in the wild. Let me know how it goes. Let me show y'all where I go to find wealthy men because y'all keep asking me about this hard wig, soft life lifestyle and is it real and if so, where are they at? During happy hour, go on down to a nice hotel in your area. I'm in Los Angeles. My favorite one to hit up is the JW in downtown LA. This is also a good spot to pregame before you go out and have dinner. 
I'm on a journey to meet my husband. So I have decided to go to all the luxury car dealerships in the Atlanta surrounding area to possibly meet a eligible bachelor. So with that being said, my first stop is Porsche. So I just pulled up, I have a Mercedes. So I'm acting like I wanna upgrade my car to possibly see if there's any potential black strong kings here that I can meet. So wish me luck. I'll be honest, all these places, these females are man hunting. A lot of these men don't find wives there. Yeah, you do get the odd occasion, but realistically, bars, car dealership, um, hotel lobbies, uh, is where you'll pick up a prostitute, is where you'll pick up an escort, is where you'll find gold diggers. You're not really gonna find a wife there. You're not gonna find a respectable woman there doing what? You know, you guys are really acting like you're high-end escorts. That's what you're doing at this point. So this is me at the Porsche dealership. I'm about to test drive a car because we got to see it through. We got to go all the way through with this, okay? And I'll give y'all an update when I leave. So now I'm leaving the Porsche dealership. I test drove a Porsche. Matter of fact, I never test drove a Porsche or ever thought about getting a Porsche, but it's a nice car. Okay, period. So, so let me give y'all a recap. So, I came to the Porsche dealership. When I walk in, they, of course, we're at a dealership. They're trying to see it. So, the black guy that worked there, he was like, oh, let me get somebody to show you the car, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. So, I saw this black man sitting down or whatever waiting for I guess the salesman to come back so I just immediately started a conversation with him and so to find out that his Porsche is actually paid off and he you know trying to sell his Porsche back to the Porsche dealership or whatever okay this was the point but I found out it's like his fourth luxury car he's had several Porsches he paid them off da, da, da. so we're holding a conversation so then my salesman comes and like oh like let's go talk to so it just kind of f up the vibe and i was hoping the man was like oh like if you got any more questions like i wanted him to take the initiative and ask me for my number but he did not ask me for my number y'all so even like i had went and grabbed some coffee and was outside like where the service area was and so when he was driving off i was hoping like he would extra girl for her number but he did me y'all just like Ugh. one she has way too much time on her hand like you actually have no life just sitting there two see my point is yo these females think this is attractive to men whatever man does approach you like i said he is thinking of nothing but the coochie you look nothing more than a high and escort and the men that don't approach you will never interested will never be interested it's never gonna go anywhere is my point it's, it's always gonna end with intercourse or it's just not gonna start anywhere and so then i test after i test drove the porsche i told the guy like oh like i gotta see if you know i gotta take this information back to my fiance because he won't get it from me it will be in his name da, da, da. So then why he go get the paperwork information or whatever. So I go inside and I go to like the little lounge area part. And so that's when I see two more black men. One typically not my type because he was a little kind of big and I don't really mess with big men, but neither here or there. And so he just kept looking at me, but he never asked me for my number. And not even my number, because he didn't even, even start a conversation. He just kept looking at me. He just kept looking at me, looking me up and down, just looking at me and smiling, but not starting a conversation, like acting very awkward. Because he knows you're thirsty, desperate, and a fault who got nowhere in life. Um, And then there was another black guy in there. But baby, he wasn't paying attention to nobody. He was waiting to get his car service, so he was working. He was on his computer and he was going to work. So he honestly, honestly, he wasn't paying attention to nobody. But so today was not a successful day on the manhunt at the Porsche dealership. 
um but i did test drive a porsche which i never considered porsches but they are nice they're very nice um so yeah stay tuned for me next week to hit up another luxury car delicious and hopefully i have a better story bye all that just to find a man once again you know this is creepy you had no intention of buying a car you had no intention of actually finding a car you definitely are not a fan of cars you're just a fan of rich men and this is your strategy and she thinks it's cute she thinks it's fun this is very pathetic it's very sad and a lot of females will come and call men predators but this looks like a predator to me very much so even more than men i'm your hostess for a minute princess these are my last thoughts it's quite clear to see how black females are the least desired it's not just your attitude and the lack of womanhood or any type of wifely duty that you play in your own life but it's really just how your standards are so low and what you're willing to do to find a man with money you know that just makes you undesirable not just to rich men but even to average men to any type of man this is not desirable it's not attractive let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye